this was setting up to be a very big season for Aaron uh, Scott. Uh, obviously, coming off the success last year, and and uh, you know dealing with the the uh, the workload limits that were imposed, and still being able to pitch through the season into the postseason, it's turned out to be kind of a lost year for him. Um, how, how tricky has that been for him emotionally? For uh, you know a young guy who's just feeling like he's coming into his prime uh, and had had such great success last season. Well, I think for everybody associated with the Blue Jays after 16, you know, you saw the evolution of potentially a, a rotation that had Estrada and Stroman and Happ and Sanchez and um, all of them being core elements of a uh, uh, of a team that uh, you know really produced a. The ERA in baseball that was, I think, ranked sixth, and a WHIP that was ranked fourth, and a, um, I think the average against was like fourth in all of baseball. So coming into '17, I think there was a great deal of ex- excitement by everyone about uh, the potentials, and, and, and certainly Aaron felt that. And I think that you know the the blister issue and and such was just uh, you know it's. You're in great shape. You're you're, you're really preparing for uh, that next step, um, you know, an all-star season, and it's just really not something you can condition for. It's not something that you can prepare for. It, it, it's something that happens and it's out of the blue, and and um, so it, 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 from that standpoint, it's 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 very difficult for an athlete because there's not a lot he can do um, because he creates such force and leverage on the baseball, uh, which is, uh, you know, evidence of his talent. And all of a sudden uh, you have an issue with, the, you know, the tissue on your finger and and uh, and the nail. And, you know, so it's, it's rather unforeseen. So it's, it's been a it's been a very difficult season knowing that you have the ability and the skill to perform. But because of uh, something of this nature, you can't get on the field. Scott, does baseball does baseball need to look at the baseballs? You know, because Marcus Stroman talked about this. We've had other pitchers talk about it. I mean, Johnny Cueto's talked about it. Um, and, you know, you're right. There's, there's not a one-size-fits-all thing here. But when enough people, especially people who spend so much time holding baseballs, <laughs> it's a tactile sport, right? You hold a baseball, you can tell the difference. When enough people are saying that, does, does baseball, do, have they taken this seriously enough, do you think? Well, I don't know what they've done with it. I know that we have, uh, there's been the testing. The testing, when you say testing, is within what measurements, mm-hmm. what standards that they look at, how broad is when they say it's the same, uh, how broad is that scale? And uh, I do know that a number of my clients have raised issue with the ball this year. And, uh, um, and certainly, um, you know, there has been discussion uh, about it, uh, but um, as to what direct changes or alterations they're uh, going to look to for next year, uh, I just know that uh, I've got a number of pitchers that have very serious abrasions on their on their fingertips because of the use of this ball this year that did not exist in prior years. 